Having a good time? All right, I'm, I'm feeling y'all out, man. A lot, of, a lot of Mexicans up in here. Jesus Christ. Rob said, I thought there was going to be some cholos and shit and cholas, but apparently none, none of that shit. Fuck that. Cholas. Hey, bro, you ever, you, you seen cholas. You've hung out with them before. You ever get hit from a chola? You did? And when she's done, you look down, her eyebrows stayed right here on you. She just like, you're like fucking Pinocchio, right? Look. God damn! You little Pinocchio, make it grow, eh? Look, I wanna call you tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, man. Y'all are dirty, y'all nasty. Y'all like these nasty jokes. Here's the problem, Robstown. People fucking, 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 everybody's fucking. That's the problem right there. It's out of control. But I get it, sex sells. Billions and billions of dollar industry a year, right? Movies, TV, magazine, radio, everywhere you look in here, there's always sex sells, I get it. But it's out of control, I'll give you an example. I'm at this Chinese restaurant the other day, Chinese restaurant in the hood called Walk That Walk. And I'm slamming down on some orange chicken. And little waitress comes up to me, little Asian lady. She looks at me and she's like, you want fuck, fuck? Give me fuck. You like fuck? Oh, yo, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yo, yo. I'm like, God damn, man, I wasn't thinking about it, but now that you mentioned it, I didn't know this orange chicken came with a happy ending. Shit. Oh, yo, yo. Asian porn is a shit. You watch Asian porn? Anybody? The shit. You always know when they go in the wrong hole, though, right? Like, oh, yo, yo. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Oh shit, really? Already, someone watches that shit. Oh, oh. You watch Latino porn? It's shitty, it ain't worth the fuck. Latino porn ain't worth the shit. It looks bootleg and fuzzy, kind of like nigga porn, right? Like, it's really bad, but if you watch black porn, niggas always got hand on the hip and they're like three feet away from the ass, right? Uh, 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 uh. Well, Latino, we can't do that. We're more like three feet in the shit, right? Like, we always say some corny shit, right? That really throws me on like, oh, goddamn. Oh, goddamn it. But what really throws me off in Latino porn, there's always shit in the background of a porn that shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? Like, oh, goddamn. And all of a sudden, a little kid will just run across. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. I want chicken nuggets, Tata. These are the jokes, people. It's good to be here, man. People usually, people usually ask me how I got into comedy. They always expect some kind of dramatic story, life-changing experience of a story, how I got into comedy. It's not, it's not that dramatic. Uh, I got fired, because I was always late. And my mom, she would warn me every day about being late. She would tell me, Flo, come here. Let me tell you something. Nothing good comes out of being late. Look at me, I was late one fucking time in my life, and there you are. Your head was so big when you're little, you're always looking down. You had Down syndrome, Benico. For three years, it looked like you were looking for something. You never found it. That's my mom. I loved her, man. It's like, she kept that shit real. She didn't fucking bullshit, right? And my mom was always talking about leaving my dad and always talking shit. I wanna leave him this time for real. Now, here's my question, Robstown. Is it just a Latino thing, a Mexican thing? But why is it when we divorce and separate, no one le actually leaves the fucking house? <laughs> one moves to the front, one moves to the back, right? We're separated by 10 feet of the good TV and shit, right? My mom always talking shit. I'm gonna leave him, pinche puto perro, motherfucker. <laughs> Share his little weenie with everybody but me. <laughs> I want a little winning too.
Well, like, I don't want to hear this shit, you know? I'm going to leave him. Then she started talking shit to him. I'm going to leave you too, goddammit. I'm like, goddamn, what did I do? Because you look like him, you son of a bitch. You look just like him. And every time I see you walk around the house, I want to slap the shit out of you. And then she would flip back. Me, I'm so sorry. How do you want your eggs done? I'm like, I'm like, goddamn, to go. Fuck this shit. Oh, crazy ass. What the fuck? Yeah, that was her, man. My mom always telling me shit like, "Mijo, we're part French. That's why we're real light skin." You know what I'm talking, Latinos? You know what the fuck I'm talking about? If you're light skin or you got colored eyes, there's always a fucking reason, right? You part French, German, Spaniard, and I even see one of us try to claim Australian. Like, what the fuck? Like, crikey, like crikey, shut the fuck up. You're from Brownsville, fucker. Make me a taco. Get the fuck out of here, man. But my mom, every fucking time, no, we're part French, that's why your abuelito had gray eyes, he had real gray eyes. Like, they weren't gray, they were fucking cataracts. Get the fuck out of here. They weren't gray, they were fucked up. <laughs> it's good to be here, man. I, uh, I actually, uh, the other day, I just uh, completed, uh, 31 months sober, man. I uh, haven't had a drink in over 31 months. Had to give that shit up. Yeah. Had to get up, because I was fucking up. Got a DWI, and I'm not talking about that Mexican shit you do, driving without insurance. I'm talking about the real shit. Because I couldn't do one of the sobriety tests, the alphabet test. And I don't know about you, but I can't even do my alphabets, the alphabets without singing that damn song. You know what I mean? That's the way I learned it. That's the way I was going to do this shit, right? And there I was, drunk as hell, in front of the cop at 3 o'clock in the morning on the side of the highway. I was like, hold on, Nasifer, hold on. Nasifer, I had already felt the test, I didn't even fucking know it, right? And then I started singing the shit. A, B, C, D, E, N, G. And I hit that note just like that. I went American Idol on his ass, you hear me? I put a hand to a ear, threw a little pump and shit. And then you get to that little middle part of that song, that little flow to it, Elemental P. It don't come out like that when you're drunk, but I was trying. Elemenopoly. Elemenopoly. Man, man, fuck it. Where's your card? Let's go. Fuck this shit. Just take me by Waterburger. I got you. Oh, Waterburger. I got it, man. Number five, bacon. Because Waterburger's a shit when you're drunk, right? One night I was so drunk I ordered something gay. <laughs> I go around the corner, I was like, can I get a number one water verga with cheese? What a verga, cheese, verga! So can you order size of verga, man? Fuck it, man, put cheese on it, man. I was gay, I was trying to water size the dick, ain't that some bullshit? Like, this little motherfucker wants some dick, he wants teeth on it, I don't know what the fuck that means. Went to jail? for a few days. I went to jail for like 10 days. And the nurse checked me out. She checked out my vitals. And she said my blood pressure was kind of high. She's like, Mr. Hernandez, your blood pressure is a little bit high. It might be due to stress. Is there anything that's stressing you out? I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go to jail, shit. I'm afraid I'm gonna end up sucking dick here in a couple hours. <laughs> She's like, you're afraid you're gonna end up sucking dick? I'm like, no, I'm afraid I'm gonna end up liking it. I'm like, fuck this shit. Find out I'm gay by accident, nigga. Shit. I suck a dick. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck y'all, man. Don't judge me and shit. When I get home, fuck this shit. I don't get paid. I don't get out of here in about 20 minutes, man. These cops ain't no fucking joke. Y'all know the cops? Y'all, y'all, yeah. Oh, they're bad out here. You ever get pulled over by a redneck cop? If you put, let me tell you something. If you Mexican, you get pulled over by a redneck cop. They call you everything in the Mexican menu. Me and my friends get pulled over by this redneck cop, and he comes waddling up to the car like, Woo! Put your hands out the window, taco salad. I'm like, did he just call me taco salad? He's like, get the fuck out, nacho! I'm like, yeah, nacho. I was like, this son of a bitch just called me the N-word. I'm like, that's nigga to us, in case y'all don't know. He comes up to the car, he realizes this car load of us, he starts freaking out. He's like, oh shit, yeah, we gonna need some backup. Apparently got a fajita platter in the car. We got a fajita platter in the car. Which means four more Mexicans in the car. 
It's like beef and chicken for haters. Go ahead and step outside. Bangs are right. Sit tight in the back. Say something, bitch. Leave my cousin. Get out of the car. I don't know if I'm beef or chicken for haters, right? It's like, come in here, Taco Sandy. You shut the fuck up, Mexican pizza. That's what he called my cousin, Mexican pizza. And I started laughing because my cousin's half Mexican, half Italian. He fucking nailed him. This motherfucker was good. He had a name for all of us. What's your name? Lupe, we ain't shut the fuck up, Chili B. Jimmy, ain't Tim Jimmy, trying to fuck this shit. So he starts questioning me, right? This big fat ass redneck cop. He's questioning me. He's like, what are you doing this side of town, Taco Charlotte? And the rednecks, they talk with their hips and they're like, man, fuck this shit. They're like, man, fuck this shit. And he's questioning me. He's moving like this side to side. What are you doing this side of town, Taco Charlotte? And I'm moving with him like, I don't know, shit. Like, Is this the test? Because this shit ain't going to look good in court. Because sometimes I don't always play the audio in court. This is going to see me moving like this. Like this motherfucker's on crack. <laughs> what are you doing this out of town, Taco Sally? I was like, I'm going to the comedy club. It's like, oh, you a honey man, some bitch, you a honey man. You a funny man. Well, I got a joke for you, Taco Sally. Not, not. I'm like, who's there? Nacho. Nacho who? It's Nacho 9, you going to jail, some bitch.